Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You know, every time we remember what happened between Adam and Eve, I'm sure many of us will have blamed Eve. Why didn't she wait for the husband? Oh, where was Adam when Eve was being uh, exposed to Satan and all that? It's still happening to today. According to Genesis 3, I mean, chapter 3 from verse 3 and 4, it's, you will see that, oh, what happened in that, if you, um, if you are able to put it in a movie, in your mind, or just take it out, you will see that it's still happening today. I had somewhere, a father told her daughter, it's not everything you should tell your husband, though. The mother too said, yes, so it's not everything you should tell your husband, though. You hide some things. And they look about each other. So you're hiding things from me. But they are encouraging their daughter to hide things from her husband. So they, there was a quarrel. Ah, but the daughter now look at the two of them. See, but you two of you are cancelling me to do that. Why are you quarreling with each other if it's a good thing? Then the daughter realized, oh, they are... You see, it, it, a lot of parents are teaching wrong things to their children. A lot of leaders, elderly, are teaching the wrong one bad things. As by your words or by your actions. And that's why we're having a lot of problems in society. I want to read our test again. And this time around, I want to read it from the New Living Translation. Isaiah 8.18. The Bible says, I and the children the Lord has given me serve as a sign. You serve as a sign. You serve as a sign. A sign. And warnings to Israel, to your children, to your parents, to your family, to your nation, you serve as a sign from the Lord of heaven and earth who dwell in the temple of Mount Zion. You serve as a sign. Don't forget that. You serve as a sign. And that's why when God see that man failed based on what happened between Adam and Eve, giving in to Satan, he sent them out of the garden of Eve, even, uh, Eden. Until today, when we fail to serve as a sign, when we fail to unite, to relate properly as a family, we lose our garden of Eden. A lot of families are in chaos and issues today, calamity today, because they fail to know that they stand as a sign. I'd like you to meditate on that so that your family can return to Eden. The Bible says in Genesis 3, 23 and 24 that God had to put an archangel at the entry point of Eden with a flaming sword. But you see, that flaming sword can be removed for your family if you recover. God bless you. See you soon.